All right, guys, I wanted to uh, show you something I've been working on. And uh, you might think, what in the world is this? Well, most, like all of everybody who tries to run satellite in a, in a camper, it's, it's, you know, you got this, you got this uh, amplifier thing here um, that works great when you're using the uh, over the air, but when you're using satellite, it, it, it stinks. Uh, and you've got to bypass it to make it work. At least that's the way it has been for me. We started out with, I'm in a Keystone uh, 31 SQB. Um, it's the back, you know, with the bunks in the back and, uh, you know, typical Keystone. It came with the, with this box, you know, mounted here. And then this a box here with a jumper across it. And basically what you could do is the street came into one side and then the, it went out to the rest of the TVs. And if you, if you took this jumper off, you could hook your satellite dish in to basically this from the street. Um, but that was kind of a bummer because you'd have to have your, as you can see, I'm back here in the back bedroom. You'd have to have your dish here. And you know, if you want to watch TV up there, it, it didn't really work very well. So what we did is it, I sat down and thought about it. So I went and got this at this, uh, box and you, you can tell I got the wrong color which oh well um, and you basically just pop in the these these things you can pop anything in so I got a bag of coaxes and I got a little bag for this for the cover one and so the way this works is this orange this orange here comes from the wall outside this orange which used to go to the old block up here and then this orange went from that from this jumper back in and over to here which is uh basically feeding the um the the this feeds you know uh this this amplifier and then it goes out of here you know and it went up to the other TVs so basically what I've done is, is I've got a jumper for, for that. And then this jumper jumps between the block that sends it to, like this is the line going to the main TV up front, this, that TV up there. This line right here goes to that connection that's on the wall outside. And so if we'll, we'll follow it through now. So coming in from the street, jumper. This goes back in to the block. Okay, you with me? Now, this line, which normally would have fed the block going to the front TV, it comes in to another jumper, okay? And then the, and then the other side of this jumper goes back and feeds the block. So the way it's hooked up right now, you could run your TV antenna to every TV. All right, now let's say I wanted to run my satellite. I would unhook this jumper right here and I would jump from the street to here. And if you jump from the street to here, this, if you follow this one, follow this one, where does it go? But here, and it feeds, basically feeds to the I'm sorry, we, we followed the wrong one. If you, if you follow this one, it comes through and goes down and feeds the block. And then that block would essentially send the satellite signal to the main TV, the outside TV, and then what I'm going to do is have a little spot right here for a TV back here. So I could essentially run a, have my satellite receiver up there. I could have the satellite receiver back here for this TV or I could have the satellite receiver outside on the wall. So, now the other cool thing is I'm gonna try to get one of those our um, extenders, RF extenders, and you can use those. And I'm probably gonna put the satellite dish on, in that cabinet and then mount the little IR receiver on the top of that TV so when I spin it in the bedroom, I can still change the channel on the satellite without the, the, you know, the remote being able to see the box. So, 
I will, at the end of this video, I'm going to um, come back and probably just post a picture of it all buttoned back up. And hopefully it's going to work. And that's it. See you.